okay so great comment so we're gonna go into first corinthians in a second okay so this is what i meant when i whenever i say that it may be a possibility that some people may not get married and if you do get married it may not be the marriage that you truly desire okay and every time someone leaves this coming it's always a woman i know about that scripture i know in corinthians this is paul giving us wisdom about how to go about marriage and i'm gonna go into this yes this is for the people who are burning with lust i don't burn with lust so i don't feel a need to let me rush to meet a man because i'm burning with lust i don't burn with lust and that goes into that discipline and a killing that flesh now i'm not gonna say people don't get in the mood but i don't burn with lust enough to go out here and search for a man because i gotta be married because i'm burning with lust that's what he's talking about because he was talking about the sexual immorality so much of it going on he knew that people were going to want to fornicate so what he's saying is so that you don't sin against the body come on now i'm about to preach so that you don't sin against your temple because your your temple belongs to god okay now so we in first corinthians chapter seven so if you want to get there get there let's come on so listen i already hear that everybody says this especially women because they want to be married i understand that the average woman wants to be married so the average woman will give me the scripture i know about it but did you keep reading also this is paul now people got to understand when you get saved it's not a package deal to get married it's, it doesn't it's not a package deal it don't go along with it right so here's what he's saying he said but i wish everyone were single just as i am keep reading this is just paul giving wisdom to the people to how to go about being married or being single he keeps saying that he wish people remain single why to do the work of god because it's easier to do god's work it also talks about when you are married and have children now you have to split that time trying to do god's work and also being in the home right so this is what it's talking about now let me go to another verse now first corinthians chapter seven okay now regarding the question about young women who are not yet married I do not have a command from the Lord because we are not commanded to be married. But I know how the church been preaching. I know how the men been preaching. I know how America's been talking. This is why so many women think that they're supposed to get married. We don't get married because we honor God. We get married because that's our fantasy, right? right because if we really honor god we can honor god with the marriage or without come on catch them big diamonds like i say people don't want to hear the truth you want me to tell you you're gonna meet a man that's gonna be there and pray with you and slay them demons with you sweetheart you may or you may not and it's a possibility that you're not because like i said people not choosing god people not even choosing themselves come on catch them big diamonds he says i don't have a command for women who are not yet married he also talks about it is better to remain unmarried. This is why I keep telling y'all to go read about Jeremiah. I'm telling you, you're living in a sick society where people are not surrendering to God to even have a kingdom relationship. Did you get what I'm saying? That's what I mean by this. I'm not trying to keep you from no man because some women think you're trying to keep them from a man. Baby, I'm not that type of woman. I am the woman that will shine that light. That's who I am. I'm the friend that shine the light and help you accomplish the things that you want in life. And if I see that that man ain't right, I'm going to say, uh-uh, sis, the Holy Spirit show me he ain't right. Or either girl, that's him, he the one. That's who I am. And let me let you know this right here. I am not the woman that keep other women single. I am the woman that keep women protected and shine that light. So let's get back into Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Now let's get on over here. I'm going to read it to you one more time, okay? One more again. Let's get it. Now regarding your questions about young women who are not yet married, I do not have a command from the Lord for them. But the Lord in his mercy has given me wisdom that I can that I can share that can be trusted. Come on now, this is Paul. Because of the present crisis, Paul said it's a crisis. Paul said it's a crisis. He 
says, I think it's best to remain as you are. Come on now, catch them diamonds. If you have a wife, do not seek to end the marriage. If you do not have a wife, do not seek to get married. Listen, man. This is why at 21 years old, I came home and started reading the word of God for myself. People think that when you get saved, and even I thought this too, this is how I found out the truth. When you get saved, people think it's a package deal. It's part of God's package deal. When you get saved, everybody get a, get a husband, you get a wife, everybody get married. That is not that. When you get saved, this is for you to become one with Christ. This is a union between you and God. That's what that's for. Jesus covers for your life. It don't have nothing to do with no man or no woman. This is you and God. This is you and God sealing the deal, the covenant with each other. It's no package deal about marriage. Marriage is an option. And so this is what I mean. Women don't want to hear that because they want me to tell them they're going to meet them a man that's going to pray with them, pray over them, and y'all going to slay them demons together. Well, I'm not going to lie to you like that. You got to seek God about that. If that's what God has in a line for your life, then that's what's going to happen. But if not, then oh well. Harsh reality. There's a guy I know personally. And I asked him when he got married, I said, how's the married life going on, man? He said, honestly, D, I think I got married too early. So over time, it wasn't even a year, divorced. Everybody run to that. It's a hype, the American dream. I'm not, I'm not against it, but don't get into it for the wrong reasons. People want God to sponsor their fantasy. That's what that is. The truth is, and every time I talk about this, it's not men that come into my comment section when I talk about, you know, you may not get married or, or you, if you do get married, you may not be, you know, have the marriage that you want. It's not men. It's women. You know why men don't come bothering me about this? Because here's the harsh reality. They're already getting the benefits. They don't need to marry. Women give the benefits. <laughs> Listen. The Bible teaches you how to go about marriage and how you're supposed to be. And if you're not married, your body, your body should not be, you should not be sharing your body with nobody. Especially if you are taking it serious. You're taking your faith serious, your walk, right? Right? But see, here, here's the thing. Men don't need to get married. They already get the benefits. What they need to marry somebody for? It's already for free. That's, that's why they don't never say nothing to me when I talk about this. Because most women give up the benefits regardless. I'm not just talking about sex, but just everything. Women give up their life. A woman will stop, but a woman will give up herself. Women will, will stop talking to family members, stop talking to friends because she got her a man. She will give up her whole life. She don't even do, she don't, she give up herself. But men don't. They still have friends and everybody. Goals, accomplishing. You, you give up your whole life, honey. And then you upset with yourself. Because you keep doing that. And I tell women all the time, honey, you got to start choosing yourself. And if you want to be with somebody, make sure you put God first. Because one thing God don't like is people that, uh, that you, you worshiping and idol worshiping a marriage or a man. That's why it's going terribly wrong. You think I'm playing? I'm dead serious. I tell, listen, there's another young lady <clears throat> that I had to coach on this same thing. I said, man, you don't even want God. You want a man more than you want it. And, and you want God to sponsor your fantasy. And then you wonder why you ain't getting it. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth. The women who don't want to get married, they up next. God is honoring every woman that honors him. He is honoring every man that is honoring him. Mark my words. That is prophetic. And I'm going to close my message with this right here. I'm very passionate about this topic. And, you know, and I was talking to one of my friends about it. And I was talking to my mom. I said, lately, you know, I've just been, just been pulling on me where God wants me to speak to the youth. You know, youth, especially the young ladies. And I said, I've been frustrated about it because I'm seeing young ladies you know they life being snatched from them because of they worshiping these men or worshiping this marriage and idolizing this thing man and when you get with somebody you sit up there and throw your life away 
you sit up there and throw your life away but I had to go back through my prophecies because I record them whenever I went to church and the prophet would speak I got 10 years worth of prophecies I had to go back and listen to them and one of them was when, when God said that he's want he wants me to talk to young women and the and you know children orphan children to people young kids who've been neglected he wants me to help them and guide them and I said that's why I'm becoming more passionate about this topic because like I say you keep on going off the you know the blueprint of America you got your own blueprint what is with God you see what I'm saying and I don't want to see young women keep throwing their life away at an early age, you know, not having no guidance and sitting here getting into these terrible relationships. Baby, Paul said it's a crisis. You think relationships going to get better? No. You know why? Because people are not getting better. And I'm, I'm tired of seeing young girls have babies so early in life. That's whack. That is whack, man. You should be doing something with yourself and, 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 and you know, bettering your life. You know what I'm saying? That's whack to keep seeing these young girls be stressed out like that by having somebody's uh, babies all the time. That ain't right, man. You ain't even getting your life fulfilled, man. This world taking life from you. But I'm trying to give you life if you let me. Don't you get yourself caught up with no little boy. They not worth it, honey. They not being a teach. They not being taught. So I'm trying to help you have a life where you can be proud of yourself. I'm at that age, I'm proud of where God has brought me to, and I'm, and I'm glad that I listen and follow God, not people, because I'd be stressed out in a mess as well. So I'm going to keep on speaking on this topic. Young lady, worry about yourself. Keep God first. Don't you let nobody pillow talk you into a, a life of destruction, because that's what's going to come, because this world ain't going to get better. It's not. And the same thing can go for the young fellas out there if you want to listen. That's if you want to listen. If not, oh well. But if you wise, you better catch them down.